All right, hello there, welcome back. Now, what you have to do here, okay, you have to keep a force uh, on these beacons at all times, with an overlord at all times, okay? So you just, you just build up some forces to guard it, and whilst they're guarding that, that's when you go and you deal with the rest of the Protoss, which is what we're going to do now. Okay, you leave that force there, guarding that base, well, base, uh, guarding those beacons, and uh, yeah, that's what you gotta do. So we're gonna see how well this goes here. Hope everything goes according to plan. I'm just gonna take these two forces here first that I have to attack. Uh, first thing. The Protoss are within a stone's throw. They are right over here. And I kind of want to hit them from both sides at the same time. That would be nice. Alright, let's go for it. Get in there. Whoa, where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Don't go over there. Deal with everything here first. Great guys! I'm gonna babysit you guys. some uh, hydralisk there. I'm getting a bit worried. Luckily, you know, as always, the good thing about the Zerg is that they have the ability to heal themselves over time, slowly. Group everybody up here. Yeah, the, well, the you know the reasoning behind why you have to keep why you have to keep your units there is so that the dark archons or what whatever the fuck they're called I can't remember what they're called uh, so that they don't uh, escape. Okay, if you don't leave a force there, uh, they will escape. It's really a quite that simple. Let's go find their other bases. Now we are getting Oh fuck, there goes my hydralisk. Shit. My hydralisk, my uh, my ultralisk, rather. Shit. I ought to build a hydralisk then. I'll keep some, some of these guys here. The hell? Oh! It's like, what the fuck was that? Ultra 
tortuous cavern rather. I'll make another one to post up at that, that, that area there. Okay, let's see what we can find here. Uh, let me keep... I'll take three of you to go scouting. You know, I think I would say that Butalisks are probably my favorite Zerg unit. Just for how balanced they are. I mean, they're fairly balanced. You know, I mean, it's basically a fighter. Um, but they're pretty damn good. You know, they're pretty damn good. You know, all things being said. And right off you guys go. And, you know, the, the other thing I like about them is, is that their attack actually ricochets off shit, you know what I mean? It doesn't do much damage when it ricochets, but it does something, you know what I mean? Alright, nothing over there. Fucking huge map here. Very annoying to fly all over the goddamn place. Another thing I miss uh, about playing as the Terran, you know what I mean? No, fuck him. Just, just ignore him. Ignore him, please. Okay, here we go. This is promising. Okay. We have an Ultralisk Cavern. We're going to make an Ultralisk. You know, all things being said, Ultralisks are not that expensive. You know, it's, it's not not too bad for what you're getting, really. I guess. Let's make some mutilisk reinforcements. Okay. All right, we have more Protoss over here as well. This is a different faction of the Protoss. Let's save the game here. I'll save them for last. I'll take care of these guys first. There's one of the. Uh, Archons. Alright, Guardians. Okay. Okay, this Vespine... That's been depleted. Is there any way we can get over there from... By no, no, not normal means, no. Um, oh, shit. Look at all these guardians over here I forgot to grab. Shit. Let's make a few of these guys into guardians. Take these guys over here to set up a new base for Vespian gas, just in case we need it, you know. Don't want to be without. Don't worry about don't follow them. It's fucking annoying. Uh, I wonder if they're setting up a new base. Okay, guys, yeah, you go ahead and attack. <laughs> Fuck me. Oh, the Guardians are actually, they actually have more range than the, the Protoss 
the, the Protoss defenses. That's pretty. That's pretty damn good. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Well, it looks like we didn't have to destroy everything. That's strange. Oh well. I'm not complaining. Alright. Did pretty well there. Tassadar and the Dark Templar Zeratul survived Kerrigan's vicious attacks, but the Templar armies have been decimated. Kerrigan, left behind to hunt down and eradicate the remaining Protoss warriors, begins to scour the burning wasteland of Char for her elusive play, uh, prey. Meanwhile, the entirety of the extended Zerg swarm teleported through space-time and began its long-awaited invasion of the he hated Protoss homeworld of Ayr. Alright. to the Kaderan Crystal Formation. Okay. Sounds pretty straightforward. But it's a huge map. An enormous map. I guess we have to bring it bring it back there, the drone, to this beacon here. Okay, so I'm going to do what I always do. And I am going to end the video here, build up my force, and see you guys next time.